Hello and welcome uh, again to a CEDH Bling build. Uh, today's deck will feature a Sika God of the Tree. Now, I put out a video a couple of hours ago of a Sika, but after gold fishing and uh, heavy thinking on the deck, just dwelling on some of the decisions I made as I just crafted it together uh, quickly, uh, there were way too many uh, card changes that needed to be made. And so we're going to go through that uh, once again. So it's like a take two video. So I apologize for that, for publishing a video uh, prematurely. So let's see if it got on the tree. Uh, this is not quite uh, a CEDH deck. I think it's a little too slow, a little very, very fragile glass cannon deck. And there's plenty of those, but this is uh, especially uh, fragile where um, you want to use her backside to, <laughs> you want to use her enchantment side to uh, kind of uh, special summon Godo uh, from the deck uh, as soon as you can, and then you do your Godo thing. So it's, it's Asika is pretty much your five color Godo deck. So a little weak for CEDH uh, and maybe too strong for casual. So it, it, it's a meme deck. It's a meme deck. And so let's get into it uh, right off the bat, right off the cusp. We have a Sika, got a tree, and on the channel we have our both arts. We always got to have, you know, all the arts available. And so at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal uh, top cards of your deck until you reveal a creature or a planeswalker and and spam it. So as you can imagine, the uh, the only creature in this deck uh, is uh, Godo. Now I never owned a foil Godo. I, I don't own a Godo deck. I don't own uh, like a Kiki Jiki. Uh, combo engine, mono red combo engine, or any any of the engines that go in a Godo deck, so I never had a chance to bling it out. This is the only deck I, I run Godo in, and so that's unfortunate. Of course, Godo is the race to 11. You uh, equip the helm, and uh, that's a GG's right there. And Magnetic Theft, so you don't have to pay the 5 to equip the helm. That's nice. And since we're in Wooburg, uh, you get Channel the Suns. That's another challenge that uh, a Sika faces, right? It's a Wooburg deck. And, you know, uh, her her enchantment side, being able to produce, to, to cast her for Wooburg as soon as you can is uh, could could become uh, problematic for a casual deck, right? Now, Goto's not the only win condition in this deck. We also have uh, Isochron Scepter Dramatic Reversal. Uh, to do uh, a handful of shenanigans in this deck, as we'll discover uh, soon. Uh, if you can imagine, there is a uh, Underworld Reach in this deck. So we're in blue, we have Intuition, which uh, gives you a pretty, pretty gross uh, Intuition line with um, these three cards, Lion's Eye Diamond, Savine's Reclamation, and Underworld Breach. Uh, where the winning opponent gets to choose uh, nothing because it's an unwinnable situation. Brain freeze. Uh, because it has really nice synergy of uh, feeding your on the world breach lines, of course. And then uh, the brain freeze in itself could be a win condition. Uh, moving along to our soft counters and uh, all counters, we have our deflecting swat, silence, uh, pyroblast. And red elemental blast, and then the other counters we have a uh, dispel, swan song, mist cast, mental mist step, fierce guardianship, force of negation, pact negation, and force of will. Uh, then continuing with our destruction package, uh, we have our nature's claim, winds of rebuke, cyclonic rift. And a call in the week. Um, notable exclusion would be your chain of vapor, because you don't want a chain of vapor as spot removal, because they might, you, you know, before you combo off of like a Sika something or a Godo, because they're gonna just bounce your piece, and that that sets you back forever. Uh, then we move on to our ritual package. Starting us off with the calling of the calling ritual, dark ritual, cabal ritual, reign of filth, rite of flame. Jessica's Will. And then we have our Tutor package. We have a Muddle the Mixture, because that's a tutor more than a counter. Uh, Merchant Scroll. 
Gamble, Imperial Seal, Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, Mystical Tutor, and that Praetor's Grass because I will do things with your cards better than you can. And a Tainted Pact. There's no Thassa's Oracle in this deck, but my mana base can accommodate a Tainted Pact. And as you'll see in just a moment, uh, I could still win through a Tainted Pact. Why? Because I got Praetor's Grasp or Mnemonic Betrayal, you're uh, an opponent's uh, Thassa's Oracle. And so with a Mnemonic Betrayal, what makes it uh, extra disgusting is our Wheel Package. We have our Wheel of Misfortune, Windfall, and Wheel of Fortune. It's a Time Twister. It doesn't synergize with the um, with a Mnemonic Betrayal, but still, you could just shit out your hand and then Time Twister and still good. Or Time Twister also helps you to put back a, a drawn Godo. And then our draw package, we have our uh, Brainstorm, OG Git Probe, OG Ponder, OG Preordain, and an Ad Nauz. There's no, five, uh, there's no uh, Angel's Grace in this deck. It's not entirely necessary. Uh, our enchantments, we have a uh, Carpet of Flowers, Mystic Remora, and Copy Artifact. We do uh, Isochron Scepter, Dramatic Reversal, Swan Song, uh, Copy Artifact stuff. A notable exclusion, of course, is our Necropotence. Oh, and uh, Appearance of the Abyss. Just uh, the black is just too, too difficult to, um, to produce. Our artifacts, we have our Lotus Petal, Fell War Stone, pretty much all the rocks, Arcane Signet, Chrome Mox, Mox Diamond, Mox Opal. I stuck with the Talisman rather than the Signets for a Sika. Let's see how it works. We have our four blues. And then the one Rakdos one, because you need to produce for Adnos or um, or Underworld Breach more than anything. And then our Colas, we have our Soul Ring, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, and our Grim Monolith. And then of course our top, because top and, and uh, um, Dramatic Receptors are, are really good. And then a Wish Claw Talisman. Our lands, a very weird mana base, right? And let's see how it works. It's just your 10 uh, fetches. And I went with the 10 fetches and 10 duels. And that's it. No shocks in here. Or no like a pro blue fetches, uh, pro blue um, duels and pro blue shocks. Just, just the 10 shocks. I'm trying to fix as quickly as I can to get out Goto as quickly as I can. And then the rest are Rainbow Lands, just cramming them all in here. We have a Gemstone, Command Tower, Spire of Industry, Forbidden Orchard, uh, Orchard, uh, Exotic Orchard, Gemstone Mine, and Mana Confluence, and City of Brass. And that is a Sika in a nutshell. Uh, your plan A is just quickly to shit out a Goto as soon as possible. Now why? Why Goto instead of just Goto in a, its own deck? Well, because if you get the Wooberg, then Goto's one, uh, one less mana, right? And that's the deck. <laughs> Thank you very much.